Hey Earth Signs, Achan here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is going to be your reading for the first half of 2021. I hope that you are doing well, and I hope that you are excited for this new year. I know I'm excited because I'm sure that 2021 is going to be a lot better than 2020, right? All right, so what we are going to do uh, for this reading is we're going to go into a reading for the Earth Sign Collective. So this is for all of you for the Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. And then we're going to go into the reading for each individual sign, all right? So it looks like this first reading that we have for all the earth signs are gonna is going to be a little specific. So if this reading, if you're not feeling like this is resonating with you, go ahead and um, check out the reading for your particular sign. Or of course, you can watch both and just see what messages come up for you, all right? Okay, if you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also book a mini reading with me through Wizio and Instant Go. Those links are in the description box below, all right? And while you're checking out the description box, make sure to grab your free resources down below as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into your reading earth sign. So this is going to be, again, for the first part of 2021. But the interesting thing is, as I look at the cards that I have pulled for you guys already, um... And this really doesn't happen in readings. I don't think I've seen this before, but it literally gives me a timeline as to what is going to happen to you throughout the seasons until the fall. So we have what's going on in the spring, the summer, and the fall so we can get the uh, trajectory of where things are going, all right? So we got um, some good information here. All right, so what we have here for you, Earth Signs, is... All right, so let me just say this does look like it's going to be... Um, you know, this can be may maybe a more challenging reading for some... Um, but I always feel like it's better to know what's coming up than not to know what's coming up because by knowing the energies that are coming forward, we can maybe do something to change things in the meantime, or just by knowing what's coming up, we can make an informed decision as to, uh, the best course of action to take when it comes to the situation. And then we have the guidance cards coming up at the end. So make sure to stay, uh, tuned for those so we can, uh, discuss how to best address the situation, okay? Because this um, may be difficult for some. For some of you, you are so down with this. It's just gonna depend on your particular situation. <laughs> so I see here that <clears throat> earth signs. It looks like you've been in a connection with someone where there has been some um, cheating. There's been someone stepping outside of the relationship. Um, I'm also hearing distrust, but there was some, uh, you know, within your connection, there's either been cheating going on now or in the past. Um, your connection may have triggered your, uh, your trust issues, but it looks like now you're going into a place where you are working on healing your past hurts so you can change your future. So you can bring about a better future in your love life moving forward. And it looks like you are focusing on where your mind is, is you're gonna be focusing on healing yourself first because you wanna attract the best types of partners. So you're going to be doing some inner work in the beginning part of the year. Uh, Earth sign, you're gonna be doing some, some inner work in the first part of the year so you can attract, again, the best types of partners or the best partner possible because you want to choose partners that are going to grow with you. You wanna choose partners who are going to evolve with you. So you are going to be doing some inner work to, again, heal the past first, to change your future, to heal yourself first so you can attract a partner that is resonating on the same frequency, on the same vibration that you are. Okay, excuse me. So I can see here that in the past, okay, well, it looks like, it looks like you could be involved with someone um, right now. I feel like you're involved with someone right now who, um, okay. Here, let me go back, you guys. Okay, let me go back. So I'm seeing here that there was somebody here who you've been involved with who, um, this could be somebody who was manipulative, all right? This can be somebody who was on the narcissistic side. This can be somebody here who was 
controlling. I feel like many of you were dealing with someone who was on the narcissistic side or had narcissistic qualities, all right? So this is somebody who like lacked empathy. This may have been somebody that was just, you know, going around cheating with everyone, looking for different sources of narcissistic supply. But we do have somebody coming through. Um, and for some of you, I'm hearing a bad boy. But I do see someone coming through um, who has been um, in your past who may be more on the narcissistic side or, again, have those qualities. So this is somebody who's very ego-focused, very egocentric, somebody who's just very focused on themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me, very focused on themselves. And I feel like <laughs> it's funny I'm coughing because I'm feeling like this person is like, don't tell them. Don't tell Earth signs that that's what's going on. I don't want them to know. I'm trying to fly under the radar. Um, but this may be somebody who's a bit on the selfish side or somebody who could have been a rule breaker. Somebody who was a little entitled. All right. We have somebody here with a high ego that you are involved with. And this can be somebody new in the picture or this can be speaking of the person who we just talked about. But I do see this connection here for you where there's romance or where there could even be a little infatuation or maybe this narcissistic person may want you back. Maybe this manipulative, controlling person. But I do see a lot of infidelity though. I will have to say that I do see a lot of infidelity for this situation. So I do see that there was some cheating. So it looks like this person that you were involved with where there was some infidelity um, you know, this challenging behavior, it looks like this person may want you back for some of you during the first part of the year. So you can have somebody returning from the past. I see someone, um, perhaps coming across as a gentleman to you all of a sudden, this can be something that's surprising to you. Somebody could be coming back to you and expressing how sorry they are for cheating on you or what they did or, you know, their behavior. Okay. Um, and I do see here that, you know, you are wanting somebody who's compatible with you. You're more, you're more focused on somebody who's compatible with you. You want an, a healthy attachment. You want somebody who's like-minded. You want someone who's going to resonate with you. All right. And I'm just feeling like this person that you are involved with, you know, as you go throughout the year, whenever this person comes into your life, you know, uh, whenever this person shows up into your life. Because you may know who this person is, or you may have an idea, or you may not. Excuse me, I, I got a phone call and it cut off the camera. So you may know who this person is, or you may not. This could be somebody from the past. And I'm feeling like for most of you, I'm feeling like this is somebody that you have experienced in the past. All right, this is somebody that you've experienced in the past. So this can be somebody who was in your life um, in 2021 or before and is coming back. Or for some of you, this is going to be somebody who comes into your life during the first part of 2021. And as you go out the first, or as you go through rather the first part of the year, this situation is going to be. Um, you know, more, more known to you. You'll be able to figure out how this is fitting into your life. So we do have this person here who really doesn't look like, I mean, this person doesn't really look like they are, you know, in it for a happy, healthy relationship or they're in it for you. This person really looks like they're in it for themselves. And I'm even here love bombing. This person may be, you know, trying to come back into your life and love bomb you and be very kind and sweet and loving when really this person still has this narcissism um underneath you know this person still has this narcissism under the surface so just be careful about that um but at the end of the day when you know after this person is done coming back into your life or coming into your life and trying to woo you and and trying to give you flowers or trying to treat you well it's like when this person gets done doing that they're still a narcissist and it looks like you're going to be um, leaving this situation. So it looks like you're going to be splitting from this person, leaving this situation, or one of you is leaving this situation. Um, you're going to find that somebody is going to leave this situation very quickly. And I feel like it's going to be you. I feel like you're going to be leaving this situation, leaving this person behind very decisively. You're going to come up with the decision. It's going to be your decision. And you may think about it. You may, you know, wonder what I should do. You may take time. You may not do this like right away. I feel like some of you are going to be thinking about it and thinking about it. But once you make that decision, you're going to act on it. I see somebody leaving a relationship or leaving somebody quickly or somebody leaving making the decision to leave somebody because it looks like this um this connection may devolve it may go downhill or it may end um i see you wanting to spend time alone i definitely see you wanting to spend time alone take time out away from this person 
take time away to introspect. You're going to be wanting to take time out to reflect. You're going to want to take a break from the situation. You're going to want to spend time by yourself in quiet and solitude. So you can do that inner work. So you can understand this relationship better. So you can understand where things were wrong. So you can understand what things went right or, you know, your actions, this person's actions, how you can do things differently. I just see you really working on yourself. Again, you're doing a lot of that inner work. Um, so you can bring about something much more positive for you. And I do see that the work that you're going to be putting in is definitely going to be paying off for you by the fall time. So we'll talk about that in a second. But I see here that, yes, there were a lot of people who were involved in this situation, a lot of third parties, a lot of other parties parties who are involved in this relationship. All right. So for some of you, this can be somebody just acting um, a little immature like or um, or you could be um, somebody much younger than your person um, or your person could have been involved with people that were much younger than them. I'm just saying something about young youth. Um, this could be a young, a, 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 um, a recent relationship, a newer relationship for some of you, or you can be going into a new beginning in your love life um, on the other side of this. Now, I do feel like this is a relationship that has um, played a dominant role in your life. Um, or this can be someone where somebody is very dominant, dominating, where somebody's either very dominant um, maybe somebody's trying to control or, or, um, you know, just dominate your time, energy, attention, daily things. Um, or this can be, again, a relationship that has just been very dominant for you in your life, uh, a very significant relationship. So it looks like earth signs. I have the anchor, the fish and the cross. And it does look like earth signs. Um, to me, it's looking like when it comes to this situation, when it comes to this person, you may end up feeling a little stuck. You may end up feel, getting to a place where you feel a little stuck or where you feel tied down by this person. This person may make you feel, again, tied down or stuck or just like, you know, where you're not able to fully move and be free and independent. And that could cause some problems. I do see some burdens coming for you. Um, this may cause a lot of emotions, okay? Um, there may be a lot of difficult emotions surrounding this situation. If you do feel burdened, if you do feel like you are tied down, if you do feel stuck, you may feel very emotional about this or very strong about this. Or I'm even feeling there may be some moodiness going on. But this can also be saying that um, with this combination here that there may just be some difficult emotions that take place. So either you're going to be feeling stuck and that's going to cause a problem for you. All right. You're going to feel weighed down like you can't move, like you can't move forward or like, you know, it's this could be a difficult decision that you may have to make. For those of you who are choosing to move forward, this could be a difficult decision because for some of you, you want to stay in this situation. Um, but I'm seeing here again, either... Um, you're feeling very stuck. You're feeling like there's a lack of independence here, which is going to cause a problem. And or I see here a lot of um, really difficult emotions when it comes to feeling stuck with a person, when it comes to feeling, um, you know, tied down by somebody, feeling tied down or weighted down by this um, connection or by this situation. All right. So this is going to be a little challenging, uh, but it does look like whatever's going on here, you know, this is kind of a faded situation that is um, here to help you look at things in a different way, here to help you address things in a different way, approach things in a different way, or at least bring something to your attention, bring something to your awareness. This is kind of a faded situation. Um, but it does look like, you know, it's like, okay, for some of you also, I see that there's going to be some kind of money issues within a connection, some kind of career or money issues that can cause a problem during the first part of the year. All right. So that's what I have going on here uh, with the Lenormand. But I also see here that, um, you know, there, it looks like there's some things, there's some secrets and things that are kept hidden that are being kept hidden right now. And during the first part of the year, it's really going to be a need to untangle these issues, to unravel these issues, to bring these issues to the forefront or make them clear, you know, make them easily digestible and understandable because some things are being hidden and these things need to be revealed and again, untangled for you to move forward in the best way. 
Now, what I can see here when it comes to the timing, it's interesting because we have her in the spring, right? So this is this reading is for the um, first part of 2021, but this energy is going into the fall here in this reading. So it looks like during the first part of 2021 or during the springtime, at least, it looks like, um, you know, there is going to be that inner work going on. There is going to be a lot of learning. There is going to be a lot of um, maybe studying. But when I say study, I mean introspection. I mean, studying yourself, looking into yourself. You know, there is that energy of healing yourself first so you can attract what it is that you are. All right. So there's going to be a lot of this learning, a lot of this uncovering, a lot of these, uh, this, this sense of revelation, things being revealed to you, things being made known, you know, things that you weren't aware of before when it comes to yourself and how you operate in love and your love life, things that are mysteries to you. These things are going to be made known. The inner work is going to be done. Things are going to be brought to the surface and revealed. And during the summertime, so you're going to go to the, from this place where things are revealed, where things are out in the open now. Now, going into the summertime, the next season, this may weigh a little heavily on you. Or signs, this may weigh a little heavily on you. There may be some confusion or you may be feeling misunderstood. Some of you may be, you know, just having those difficult emotions. I do see some difficult emotions coming up during the summertime. Um, I do see some difficult emotions coming up during the summertime. So we may have some, you know... Some sadness going on in there, some some low vibrations um, going on during that time. And if you are experiencing that, just be gentle with yourself. You know, no, you're not alone. This is just a part of the energy and where things are supposed to be moving into because this is all a faded situation. Um, and then going into the fall, so we have that kind of hiccup in the summer. And then going into the fall, we have here abundance. We have here love. We have her joy. We have her happiness. We have her fertility. All right, this is a good time if you are looking to have a uh, a child or get pregnant, you know, I mean, of course, if you're with someone or, you know, if it's appropriate in this, um, at that time um, to take action on that, that's a time uh, where there's going to be a lot of fertility. But it's also that, um, you know, this is a beautiful new time for you to bring about something new into your love life, for you to bring about a new phase in your love life, a new beginning in your love life. You know, I'm thinking about the Empress and Tarot. And, you know, it's like the Empress is abundant. She's creating something new. She's on the beginning of, you know, she's, she's in the process of gestating something beautiful and something new for her life, bringing new life um, into the universe. So this is a good time to... Um, you know, maybe get out there, meet new people. Your, your options are just looking very good. You know, your your options are looking very good during the fall season. So that's going to be a very good uh, season for you, um, especially if you are still single at this time. So let's see what else is going on here. So it looks like, you know, I do see some moving on from a person. I do see you leaving behind a situation, but this is also going to be very positive and it's going to be, bring a very positive energy, a very positive transition into your life. And patience may be required, but it's all about, um, you know, progress, not perfection. So you are progressing as you're moving forward, but you know, things may move forward slowly. Things may not happen right away, which is what we can see in the timing here from the spring, summer to the fall, that things are likely not going to just manifest overnight. You know, there's going to be time because you have to go through these cycles. You have to go through this cycle of learning, getting that spiritual growth, getting that inner growth, doing that inner work, doing that introspection, that learning, that reflection. And from there, you know, there's going to be that little hiccup and things are going to go right back up. So patience is going to be required during this year, but know that you are on the, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're having a new beginning. This is all about a new beginning for you in your love life. You know, even if you can't see it yet, because I, I, I can hear that some of you can't see it yet. Some of you may still be with somebody and you're like, what? No, that's not going to happen. Or like, you know, I just see that some of you may not be aware of this um, just yet. Excuse me, dropping cards. Um, some of you may not be aware of this just yet, but you will, um, you know, you'll see it unfold. So I do see here, you know, there is going to be a beginning, a new beginning, a fresh start in your love life. Again, we have that energy of the Empress where we are growing, where we are um, blossoming into something better, into something new, into something beautiful, right? There's a fresh start going on. 
And it does look like, you know, you're going to have to do a little work when it comes to um, dish issues dealing with loss, okay? Um, you may need others to help, uh, help you and be there for you and support you. But it also looks like, you know, again, this beta situation, this can also help you having to um, deal with and move through, you know, go through these lost issues to the other side. There will be some disappointment when it comes to a commitment or when it comes to a marriage, the one that you're likely um, leaving are signs that I can see here. Um, but you are going to be reassessing, um, like balancing your life. Uh, what balance means to you, how you can bring more balance into your life, how you can bring more balance into your love life. Whatever that means to you, you're going to be reassessing your love life, reassessing how to bring more balance to your relationships or bring more balance into your life. And I see here that doing this work, doing that inner work that we keep talking about is going to allow you to succeed and persevere in your love relationships. All right. So it looks like there is a significant love relationship coming up for you. Um, it's just a matter of that perseverance, you know, getting through these lessons. All right. So that's what I have for you, um, earth signs for the general reading. Let's go ahead and go into your guidance. And then after this, we'll go into Taurus. So we'll see what's going on with Tauruses individually, Tauruses, and then Virgos and then Capricorns. All right. So let's see, what is your guidance, earth signs for the first half of 2021 when it comes to your love life? All right. Okay. So let's see. Well, where do we go first? So you know what's interesting? You know how we were talking about how um, this is a part of like this is this is part of your journey and this is uh faded and you know there are lessons that need to be learned. I have here the spiritual path card. Spiritual path. So again, this is part of your spiritual path, whatever that is going on here, especially with this cross card. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So you are realizing what you believe when it comes to love. You're realizing what you want when it comes to love, what you believe you deserve, or just however this is going to resonate with you. You're just becoming more clear, more aware about when it comes to your love life and the things that are important to you and the things that are necessary for you or the things that matter to you and what you believe about your love life. So it's like these things are becoming clear to you and that's going to allow you to look at the situation, do the inner work, take the time out to reflect, to, to uh, introspect. And that is going to allow you to make the, those necessary life changes. So this is also a good time to make time for self-care. You know, you have to do that inner work during this during this time, you have to do that inner work. It's, it's going to be necessary for you to move forward in your love life in the best way. So taking care of yourself is essential right now. Make sure to do that inner work. Make sure to take time out to take a break, to meditate, to, again, reflect, to introspect, to take time to yourself, all right? Um, make sure to do that. That's very, very important right now. Know that, you know, whoever it is that you've been involved with, this narcissistic person or this cheater person or this person, you know, whoever it is that has, um, you know, caused some, some pain or challenges in the past, whoever this is speaking about, you know that it's important to forgive this person, that forgiveness is very necessary. Forgiveness heals. It's time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So don't allow repressed anger to loom over you or to linger over you because that is going to take up space where there could be a more positive energy there. Um, because if you can imagine, say we have, um, you know, say this is our soul, right? And then we have this negative energy right here, this negative energy that's blocking this space right here. Well, this can be a space right here that could be filled with love and light and positivity and happiness, but we're choosing to you know, keep anger in this spot. So as we release this anger, as we forgive and release, that opens up a space for something much better to come in. So this is a good time to release, to forgive, and know that forgiveness is not for the other person. We don't even have to tell the other person that we forgive. It has nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with us and us deciding that, you know what, I'm going to move forward in my life without the hangups from the, from the past. I'm going to move forward in my life without you, this person that I 
if not even fond of, without allowing you to continue affecting me moving forward. Because who are you to impact, negatively impact my happiness and my fulfillment moving forward? You don't even have that place in my life. I don't even like you. You know, you did me wrong or, you know, you weren't a good person to me. So why would I continue to allow you to affect my happiness, my fulfillment, my wholeness, you know, moving forward? So we choose to forgive and, you know, then we move forward on our journey. So that's when we decide to release these people what they did so we can move forward and have the best you know life possible without having that negative negativity blocking you know what can be a beautiful energy right so it's also very important for you during this time to uh partake in healthy communication in your relationships heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you to understand and be understood so make sure to express yourself i'm uh, just hearing that some of you may have troubles expressing yourself make sure to express yourself share what it is that you want what it is that you need what it is that you desire if somebody's not meeting your needs um, if you need somebody to meet your needs, whatever this says, make sure to communicate, have heart to heart discussions and clear a sort of communication. And that's going to allow you to express yourself again. And you can see where the other person is coming from as well. Um, whether that be for the positive or the negative. And again, it's interesting because I have now here the card of life lessons. Um, so again, we have this very karmic, um, very spiritual energy here. So know that you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson, by praying to know the lesson and blessings that they contain by asking, what are the lessons? What is it that I need to know behind this situation? What is the purpose? Okay. Uh, what can this do for me? How will this benefit me? All right. So those are the messages that I have for you. Uh, the Earth Sign Collective. Thumbs up and like this reading. Comment. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you haven't subscribed yet. I have some really fun stuff that I'm going to be bringing to you guys this month. So make sure to subscribe for all that awesome um, information. And now we are going to go into the Earth Signs. I'm sorry. Now we're going to go into the fir first <laughs> Earth Earth. First earth sign, which is Taurus. So I'll see you on the other side. Bye. All right, Tauruses, let's see what's going to go on in your love life in the first half of 2021. Don't forget to thumbs up and like this reading if the messages hit home, if the messages resonate. Comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning. And to book a private reading with me, go ahead and check the description box below for all those details and a link to my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. Alrighty, so Tauruses, you guys got a pretty um, interesting reading here. So let's see where this is going to go. All right, let's just start off here. So it looks like there's a situation um, or a relationship or like maybe a situation ship that you're in, a connection that you're in where um, it looks like you have opened your heart to this person or you've been coming together with somebody and it seems like things have been going pretty well. Um, I do see a soul connection here or a feeling of a soul connection, or just a union. You know, there's some kind of commitment or connection here. Um, I feel like things um, are going pretty well. Some of you may feel like you have met the one or some of you are just welcoming in love into your life. And, you know, you've been having faith about love. You've been having faith that love is coming. You may have met somebody and this was a surprise to you. All right, you could have had a surprise meeting from somebody or somebody could have invited you somewhere and that was a surprise to you. There's just some kind of surprise when it comes to the person um, who's coming across here for you. But again, it looks like you may have had a lot of faith that love was coming in for you and it looks like Cupid's arrow has struck. You know, we do have somebody coming in here for you where there is, there is a soul contract here. Now, this is a soul connection. This is a soul contract, and I can see that this is a connection that, um, this is a past life connection. Whatever connection that this is talking about for you, this is a past life connection. This is somebody that you've been with in lifetimes before, okay? There's a karmic connection here. We do have this tree card, okay? We have this tree card speaking of a, um, a karmic connection. So this is going to be a pretty significant relationship, a pretty significant connection. You likely have a, a you know, strong connection to this person or feel strongly towards this person because of the fact that you have known each other before. Um, but I do see here this soul contract, this soul connection, this partnership going on here. Now, it looks like, um, you know, what's going on right now is...
it looks like you're moving forward in this connection. Now, I do feel like somebody, um, somebody may be trying to play Mr. or Mrs. Fix It, trying to fix the other person. Um, but this is a, this is a message to not try to fix others, to work on yourself first, to heal the best partner. Somebody may be trying to people please, but it does look like you guys are just trusting the process when it comes, you know, to your love life. And it looks like, you know, you could be receiving what you need in your love life at the moment, because I do see a lot of, um, I do see positive energy, like what's going on right now from the current vantage point. I do see here, like, you know, a strong connection, um, I do see here welcoming in the one. I do see here progression in a connection or somebody, you know, a, a, a soulmate arriving. Um, but then it's interesting because I also have here something about moving on and I also have here something about closure issues. So is this somebody, is this a person that you're dealing with now or is this somebody from the past? All right. So only you know. Um, but it looks like, you know, going into the near future, you may find that either you or this person that you're involved with, somebody's not going to be showing their true feelings. Somebody's going to be kind of having a mask on. And it's interesting because if we go back to that, um, that first reading for the earth signs, we did have the card of narcissism and narcissists, you know, they do wear masks. So this can be, you know, related here. We have somebody not showing their true feelings. We have somebody who's, um, you know, kind of pretending, pretending to be somebody who they're not, um, you know, coming across some way. They're just wearing a mask. They're not showing who they truly are. They're not showing their true feelings. They're not showing. There are definitely things that are being keep hidden. Okay. There are definitely secrets. I definitely have secrets here that are being kept hidden. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so I have a lot of secrets here. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of secrets. A lot, a lot of secrets. Okay. You could be hiding secrets from this person or this person could be hiding secrets from you. You know, if you know that you're being upfront and authentic and transparent with this person, then this person is keeping secrets from you. If you are not being transparent, if you're hiding things that you're going to know that this is you, but somebody is hiding stuff, All right? Somebody's hiding something, okay? And th there may be some things being hidden because you want to keep the, the calmness. You want to keep the peace and the connection. You want to keep the, the, the sensuality, the positivity going within the connection. You want things to be calm. You don't want things to get out of hand. You don't want things to get chaotic. So that could be why you're keeping things um, secret. And you may just feel like that's the best thing for you to do. It's like, like for some of you, I'm feeling like there's an age difference and you may be um, using your wisdom, you know, or somebody's just using their wisdom and they're thinking, you know what, this is the best thing for me to do to keep these things hidden so I don't um um what's the word sabotage this connection or so I don't hurt the other person or for whatever reason okay um that's definitely what I see here but I also see here when it comes to this person there's going to be some kind of there's some kind of movement or relocating somebody can be um, moving, somebody can be leaving, somebody can be going somewhere else. There's just some, somebody could be traveling, somebody could be wanting to travel, wanting to leave, wanting to move, and that's affecting this relationship. Somebody could be in school, that could be affecting the relationship, or somebody's trying to learn something, go on some kind of journey, that could be affecting the connection. This, is, These are just general messages as this is for um, all of you Tauruses. But I do see that somebody here is going to be kind of keeping things, um, keeping things hidden. And that may be for some of you where that people pleasing thing is coming in. Okay. But I do see somebody not showing that you're feeling, somebody not um, showing who they really are, showing what they really think, showing what they really want. There's some, you know, there, there's something being hidden. Okay. There's something being hidden here. Now, what I can see going into the Norman here is that, okay, so this is a pretty interesting spread. Let me see what we have going on here. Oops. Dropping a lot of cards today. All right. So, okay, let's see here. So, it looks like for you, Tauruses, there's going to be something here centered around communication. All right. There's something here centered around communication with the letter. We have something here centered around communication. This is likely going to be um, text messages, you know, DMs, messages, um, text, something like that. And this is going to go down in different ways for some of you. Now, for some of you, or for, you know, you all, for some of you, 
There's going to be a loss of communication in this connection. So for some of you, this is a connection that seems to be one that's very strong, very nurturing, maybe very powerful or strong connection. And you're going to find a loss in communication with this mice and this letter combination here. So for some of you, again, a loss in communication, okay, may cause you to go more inward, okay? Um, for others of you, I'm seeing that a, a conversation that takes place where somebody was coming out of a place of like worry or anxiety or somebody may have, you know, started up some drama or some problems. It's like some kind of problematic communication is going to have a big impact on your connection with this person. For others of you, I'm seeing that um, you could be in a connection where you're talking to this person a lot online or through messaging and there could be some manipulation going on. Okay, so I do see for many of you, um, you know, there can be some manipulation going on um, underneath the surface, all right? Because somebody is really underneath it all. Somebody is very um, possessive, dominating, overbearing, um, wants to be in control, you know, wants to dominate, wants to dominate. Um, and that's going to be coming up in this connection, okay? So I see that going on here too. Um, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of growth that comes through this situation. I also feel like the situation is really going to affect your um, your emotional health. On the bottom of the top of the deck, I have here the, um, the moon and the tree. So this is showing me that this is going to have an impact on your emotional health, all right? This can be, um, yeah, Somewhere, something that your your emotional health is going to be very um, impacted, okay, by this person. Um, I do feel like there are going to be some worries and anxieties coming up here. Um, so just know that that is coming up. But you have the ability to empower yourself and move through that, you know, to move through this situation. Um, you have the power. You have the power. You have the strength to move through this situation. So continue moving forward because as you continue to grow, your growth is going to kind of compile on top of you know, it, itself and bring about really positive outcomes for you. So I feel like in your love life, um, there have been maybe some repeating patterns in your love life. Maybe you've been dating the same type of people. Maybe you've been seeing the same types of situations over and over again in your love life. Um, or this can even be you having um, romantic connections or connections that are mainly focused on sex. Um, not really love, which has been kind of um, holding you back. But that's going to be for some of you. I'm feeling for most of you, there's just some kind of routine. There's just pattern. There's something that's been done over and over and over again in your love life. Maybe a way of approaching love or way of behaving in love or maybe a type of partner you choose or, you know, whatever this is for you as an individual. I see here that there's been something that has been happening over and over again that has been stalling your love life. It's been stalling. I see a lot of like energy of like, yeah, patience, waiting, stalling, things not happening very, very quickly. Okay. But I'm feeling like this is a past energy here. So I'm seeing that, you know, there's some repetitive, um, something repetitive, something that keeps happening over and over again that's been causing delays in your love life, not really allowing you to move forward. For many of you, I feel like it's a pattern. All right. I feel like it's a pattern or a way of thinking or a way of approaching relationships, a way of seeing relationships. Something like that. And I feel as though um, during the first part of the year, this is a good time to gain wisdom about that, all right, to kind of um, take some time, maybe introspection or reflection, take some time out to think, to reflect, to to meditate on this. Um, because I do see here, um, you know, a, a need to do that. Um, and it does look like this is the perfect time to do that. It looks like right now, during this first part of 2021, this is really a really, really good time to do that. And by taking some time to kind of think about these things during the first part of the year, that's going to bring you a lot of um, luck. It's going to bring you a lot of luck in your love life. Because I do see that there are some things, there are some things, some issues that need to be untangled. There are some patterns, there are some routines, there's something that has continued going on in your love life. Maybe the type of people you choose for some of you I'm hearing, the types of uh, men or women that you choose, um, how you go about relationships, your approach. There's something, there's something, or even this cannot even, this maybe isn't even having to do with that. This can also have to do with um, how you view yourself. I'm hearing what you think you're worth because it's like we, we produce 
the, the outcomes that we think that we're worth. Um, for example, if we believe that, if we internally at a subconscious, deeper level, believe that we're not worthy of love, even if on the surface we're like, oh yeah, I'm lovable, like, oh, I, I deserve love and this and that. If that's not what we truly believe at, at, at our core, um, if that's not what we truly believe at our core, then we are going to um, still manifest the outcomes that align with what it is that's going on deeper down. So even if on the surface we think that we're worthy of love, if deeper down underneath it all, you know, buried underneath in that lockbox, you know, hidden away down in our subconscious somewhere, we feel like we're not really worthy of love, we're going to um, produce results based on that unconscious feeling. All right. So honestly, to be, <laughs> to be quite honest right now, I forgot where I was going with that. That was just a message that I guess somebody needed to hear. Um, so let's see where we were going with this, but I do feel like you are going to be, there's going to be a lot of growth. There's going to be a lot of growth. All right. There's going to be a lot of slow and steady growth. Um, I mean, the great thing is what I'm hearing is it's going to be slow and steady, but it's going to really benefit you for the long term. You know, it's like you're building the foundation for the house and now the house gets to stay for a hundred million years, right? It's like you're building a good foundation here. So there's going to be slow and steady growth as you start to, or as you unravel, as you untangle whatever these issues are that need to be recognized, that need to be brought to the surface, that need to be learned. In the um, earth sign reading, we did have that card of inner work, right? So it looks like you're going to be doing the inner work during this first part of the year. And for you, Tauruses, this is a very, very good time for you to do that. And I hear that some of you can really benefit from journal writing as well. Um, so you are going to be untangling these issues that need to be revealed, that need to be brought to the surface. And that is going to bring slow and steady growth to you. I feel like you're going to be doing it in your own time. I don't see like rushing into this, but I feel like this is just going to be something in divine timing, something that, you know, feels very, very comfortable for you. And um, the interesting thing is, I feel like this is bringing in, I'm hearing new cycles coming in. I'm seeing, I'm feeling, sensing just a new cycle coming in, um, a new emotional cycle, um, one where your wishes and your dreams and your aspirations what it is that you want, where you're able to solidify those and secure those. Yeah, where you're able to like solidify those and secure those. Um, so as you are moving through, you know, what it is that you are experiencing, um, again, I'm just seeing this energy of cycles, patterns, even coming to a completion, coming to a close. Um, now is a perfect time to bring things to the to a close cycles to a close, especially if, um, for example, you have something about um, wanting to fix somebody, wanting to people please, codependency, trying to fix others, all those things. Um, those are, this is a good time to bring those uh, cycles and patterns to a close, but this, you know, the patterns, the cycles, all of it, this is a reading for the collective, for the Taurus collective. So um, this is going to be different for all of you guys. Um, but it does look like, you know, you're going to be untangling things, untangling issues that need to be understood, that need to be unraveled. And the outcome that I see here from that is hope. You know, you're having hope when it comes to your love life. Also, I see a new path when it comes to your love life. So again, I see movement forward. I see a new path and I see a lot of success with another person. Now, for some of you, there's a third party involved in this situation. For some of you, um, there's a third party involved with the situation. And I, if that's the case then I see you moving forward with that with that third party. If if you are involved with somebody and there's somebody that's like not sharing their feelings or you know you're not sharing your feelings with this person or maybe this person's a little narcissistic or maybe this person is uh focused on themselves or whatever, um you you'll see how this uh, unfolds for you uh as an individual, but it does look like, you know, there's there's somebody new, there's a new path with somebody else coming in. So this could be somebody who's already in your connection now. Say if you are involved with multiple people, this can be a third party or there can be a third party coming in um, during the first part of the year, coming into your connection. And if not, that is just like another person, a third party, another woman, another man, somebody else is going to come in and um, bring a lot of, uh, bring a new path for you, bring a lot of success. So I feel like the work that you've done is really going to uh, positively, um, you know, it's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit you as you are moving forward in this, with this uh, different person or however this um, unfolds for you.
Now, I see that, you know, you are reaching the end of a learning cycle when it comes to your relationships. Um, you are reaching the end of a learning cycle, especially when it came to a relationship that really dominated your life or somebody was very dominant. I feel like in your, one of your relationships, somebody could have been very dominant. Um, and I feel like you're reaching the end of the learning cycle when it comes to that person, when it comes to that situation, you're learning lessons, you're realizing things, things are coming to the surface, you know, there, there has been a lot of learning. There has been a lot of learning. You know, I see that you, you've been learning a lot when it comes to your love life. There's been a lot of lessons coming up, you know, karmic lessons coming up, just lessons, um, soul lessons. And I feel like, um, it's even like you've gone through the shadow period, you've gone through the shadow work, and now you're at the end of that learning cycle, um, where now you've gone through the lessons and now you're able to integrate them into your daily life, your life, your love life, your existence. And by integrating these lessons, that's going to, um, create a foundation, you know, create fresh soil for something beautiful to grow. So yes, there has been a lost love and there will be a lost love and there's going to be so much learning, so much learning. I keep getting this over and over again with all these different messages, and different cards, a lot of learning um, coming through this situation. And this was kind of like, to me, I'm hearing like putting on your training wheels, you know, you had to learn, you had to learn through this situation. There was a lot of learning. There was a lot of training because what's coming up for you soon, again, this third person, this other man, this other woman is going to bring you a lot, a lot, a lot. That's interesting. A lot of hope, a lot of happiness, a lot of, I mean, grace, a new path, success, wishes, wishes, wishes being fulfilled, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity here. Okay. Um, and I'm feeling like this may not be an easy choice for you to make for some of you, but, um, you know, it's like you may weigh the options or, you know, and, and you realize like which one is the better person for you. You know, you may have to make a difficult decision. So I'm seeing that you're trying to put together a traditional relationship or what you're looking for is a traditional, huh. what you're looking for huh. <laughs> is a, uh, a traditional relationship. Right. That's what you're trying to put together. So, yeah, you're definitely reaching the end of a learning cycle, the end of a learning phase with somebody. And that may cause a little crisis and disappointment. And if you watch the uh, the first reading, the um, the Earth sign reading, the general reading, then we did talk a lot about timing. So this could be something that takes place in the summertime for you. Um, you'll just have to see how that resonates with you, but I'm going to believe that this is going to happen around the summertime just because of the first reading that we did for all the earth signs. So, um, there could be some disappointment that happens, um, at the end of this learning phase. Oh, and okay. So here we go. So when we go back to the first reading, right, when we go back to the first reading, remember we talked about that learning, that growth, learning those lessons. And we talked about how during this summertime, there may be some challenges, you know, challenging feelings during the summertime because we learned lessons during the spring, during the during the summertime, um, there may be some challenges and then things are going to pay off in the fall. So I can see this here with you two, uh, uh, with you as well, because it's like, again, there's going to be the end of that learning phase that we talked about in the springtime. And that may lead to some disappointment, you know, going on. But I do see here that as you move through that disappointment, um, there's going to be some sudden progress. There's going to be some sudden changes. And that's going to bring um, more balance to your love life. You're going to feel more centered in your love life as this progress and change happens. But again, it's going to happen um, very suddenly. So I feel like this is when the success is going to come up. This may be when this other person comes up. I do see here that um, you are going to be, there's going to be, you're going to grow and you're going to have, your lessons are going to pay off because you're going to be reassessing. Excuse me. Shuffling cards here. You're going to be reassessing um, your behaviors and relationships. And I feel like you're going to be realizing what doesn't work for you, what you've been doing that doesn't work for you. And that's going to allow you to do things differently moving forward. Okay. So let's see what uh, your guidance is, Taurus is. So overall, you know, a little, little hiccup here with this person, but it's all for the greater good. It's all for the greater reason. You know, you're going to learn a lot through this situation. You're going to be able to make, make that relationship that you want happen. But this had to happen so you can um, get these spiritual lessons. You can get this growth.
All right, so Tauruses. Okay, so let's see what we have here for you. <clears throat> What's your guidance? All right, so first thing that's standing out to me is Tauruses. Make sure to um, get out there and connect with like-minded individuals. Connect with people of your community, especially if this is a, a spiritual community. I'm looking on the bottom of the deck and I have here increased support. So I have here a lot of messages about connecting to your community, connecting to those around you. Um, socialize or join in, make healthy and supportive new friendships. So make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So you can really benefit by getting in touch with a group of like-minded people, the people that like to do the things that you like to do, your hobbies, if it's spirituality, spirituality, if you are a foodie, you know, maybe people who like to cook or do cooking classes or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, if you're into sports, somebody, you know, who does the same sport that you do. Um, and it can be useful for you to get together with a spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So it's really interesting how both of these cards, you know, even if this is not speaking about a spiritual community, which for many of you it is, but it's saying make healthy and supportive new friendships. Join with like-minded people. So go ahead and get out there. And what I'm hearing in my inner ear is as you get out there, as you meet, and I'm getting chills, so I know I'm on with this one. If you are um, getting out there, get out there towards meet new people. And I feel like as you do, you're going to, if you're looking for somebody new during the first part of the year, okay, if you're looking for somebody new, Somebody new romantically during the first part of the year, Taurus, get out there and become involved in things that you like, things that, um, or here, even this, okay, is what I'm hearing. <sighs> okay, say you like a certain type of person, right? Like, say you're a woman and you like um, spiritual guys, right? Then go to your local spiritual shop. Say you um, like somebody who's into sports. Go to sporting events if you can, you know? Um, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, say you like people, like, we, like I said before, who cook or whatever, like say you're a foodie, right? Um, then you can go to like cooking classes or for like singles or, you know, something where people cook, come together and cook something like that, you know, meet up with the people who are like you or, or, or this, whatever your ideal type of person is, whatever type of person that you like, that you're interested in your ideal person. Go to where they are. That's what I'm hearing. Go to where they are. Whatever. If you like people who are in the sports, go to sporting events. If you like, those are the examples that I keep thinking of. But you know, this can cover any kind of any kind of thing. Um, so, say you want a, a single dad, then go to a, a park. You got you like you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so, meet with like-minded people. Go to where it is that the type of person that you are looking for is. I feel like that's going to be very very um, useful for you. And I also have here the card of Malachite, which is prosperity. There's a positive shift of, uh, there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So there's divine support coming to you. You are being divinely supported in this situation. All right, Tauruses. So that is really, really great here. All right. So my loves, that is what I have for you for your reading. Thumbs up and like this reading. Again, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're new, subscribe to my channel if you are returning. All right. And also check out the description box to book a private reading with me and make sure to check out your sun, moon, or rising sign videos as well. And it's great the way that I'm doing this format here is you really get two readings for each sign. So, um, you know, if you got a uh, moon rising, ascending and another element, check out the, the reading for that collective and for that, uh, that sign. Um, so you can get all the messages, uh, for you for this year. All right. I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you here soon. My beautiful bulls. All right. Bye for now. All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and see what is going to go on in your love life for the first part of 2021. Okay, and of course, don't forget to thumbs up and like this video, like this reading if the messages hit home, if the messages resonate with you. Also comment and subscribe to my channel. If you are new, subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you have not subscribed yet. I have some great stuff that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. So go ahead and subscribe uh, so you can know when all that amazing stuff is posted. And make sure to also hit the notification bell below so you can be uh, notified as to when I upload. All right. So lovely Virgos. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. 
I actually got a, kind of a lot of cards that came out for you guys, but I didn't choose them. They just came out for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get into this, okay? So it looks like Virgos. All right. So I feel like there's somebody who... Maybe you disconnected from this person. Maybe you and this person went your different directions. You went in different ways. There was some kind of separation. Something like that. And I feel like within your love life, you've just been kind of seeing either this person or you've been seeing things differently in your love life going into the uh, first part of the year, going into whenever you are watching this. I feel like you're seeing things differently um, than how they have been, all right? I feel like um, also you can be reevaluating because it, it's looking like, um, you know, there's some conditioning, Um mental programming that was causing you to see your relationship or see your love life or see something a particular way but now you are reevaluating now you are seeing things differently you're seeing things in a new way and this is related to this person who um again it's like you reunited with somebody you've recently reunited with somebody you recently come back together with somebody or there's a good chance of you coming back together with somebody from the past so i feel like you're looking back at somebody from the past in a different way or either you guys have reunited, you're coming back, or you are back together, or um, if you're not back together, uh, again, things, you, you're going to come back together. I do see just a reconnection going on here. Um, and it's really interesting because, again, like I said, I had a lot of cards that were, like, popping out for you. And to me, I'm feeling like this is somebody who um, maybe you have feelings for this person or this person has feelings for you or... You know, there was this affinity towards one another, but somebody didn't really, you know, really show that. It didn't fully show that. They may have thought it or felt it. They didn't really um, show that, show you that, and maybe you didn't show that. Um, there's someone here that's like, you know, kind of showing that they like you or you're showing that you're liking somebody without actually saying like, I love you. Um, so there's someone here who it's like, uh, it's almost as if it's not really, I mean, in my mind, I'm hearing a misconnection, but I'm not, it, it doesn't seem like it's completely a misconnection because you could be coming back together. But I just feel like in the past, um, maybe there was a lack of expression of feelings or just how strongly one felt towards the other. Um, so there could be somebody who feels very strongly towards you and you have no idea, you had no idea, you know, or of course this can be the other way around. Um, take this as it resonates because this is for the Virgo collective. So it does look like, um, you know, this could have been a partnership. This could have been a relationship or just someone who maybe you wanted a partnership with or who you were interested in a union with or maybe you wanted to move forward with this person or, you know, there was some kind of um, union or commitment or you wanted that with this person. But I do feel like, um, I do feel like, Honestly, I feel like many of you are like playing the field or you're going to be playing the field or maybe you met this person while you were dating a lot of people. Maybe you were interested in a lot of people and this person came into your life because I do have here an energy of meeting other people, dating other people, um, being uh, promiscuous. And when I say pr promiscuous, I don't mean in a bad way. I don't mean that you're going around being a floozy. I'm just saying that you are having fun. You're being an adult, right? You're doing what grown folks do. You are having fun or you've been having fun or when you met this person, you were having fun. You were doing what grown folks do and you were enjoying yourself, right? Just meeting people, getting to know people, seeing what is out there, exploring your options. I have a lot of energy here about exploring one's options, seeing what's out there, having your cake and eating it too, playing the field, meeting and dating new people. Now, I feel like you are going to be wanting to try new things or you are, um, you know, trying new things right now. Um within your love life. So it looks like there's, you know, there's a good energy going into this. Um, so again, you know, you're seeing things differently when it comes to like a past love or somebody who's come back into your life. But it does look like you're wanting to make healthy choices when it comes to your love life. You're wanting to make healthy choices when it comes to your love life and when it comes to love in general. So that's where your main focus is, even if somebody came back from the past and is not the best for you, you are focusing on make, making healthy choices. You're really focusing on self-love and self-care and yourself. You're focusing on making healthy choices and the best choices for you first and foremost. So that's 
excellent Virgo. You know, that's, that's the best place to be in. So, um, you've been focusing on, you know, making healthy choices, being healthy for you, um, self-love, self-care, happiness. And it looks like, um, let's see. So there's different things that can go on here. So it's like for some of you, because I'm really feeling like, okay, what I'm feeling is, hold on, let me see. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm feeling like, I mean, I'm kind of feeling like there are two stories going on here, but, um, I do see here that there's some kind of message, some kind of text, some kind of email, um, that could come in. Okay. Say that there's somebody who's coming back into your life. Somebody has come back into your life. They want to converse with you. They want to communicate with you. All right. They're going to send you some kind of message. You're going to come up out of nowhere for some of you with some kind of message to re-communicate with you. Um, recommunicate is that even a word to reach out to you again or communicate? I don't think recommunicate is a word, but to communicate with you, um, to reach back out to you. And then once this person reaches back out to you, you're gonna have to kind of have a strategy, you're gonna have to have a game plan as to how do I go about this? You know, how do I deal with this? Um, what is it that I want from this situation and how do I act in alignment from that? You know, what is my desire for this situation and how do I act in alignment for that? So, um, it's either going to be somebody coming back into your life and then you are coming up with this strategy. You know, somebody's going to reach out to you. You're going to come up with this strategy. And if this is not somebody coming back into your life and reaching out to you, then this can be somebody who in the recent past, this person came back into your life. Okay. You had your little time together. Now there's going to be a separation so that now there's going to be a separation with you. So you're going to know how this resonates with you by what's going on right now. Either you've received a text or you received a message or somebody has come back into your life um, recently, okay? And if, if it, this is not that, then in the past, you got back together with somebody and now there's a separation, all right? This is a collective reading, so you have to take which way this uh, resonates with your particular situation. Um, so it can be that, again, somebody's reconnected with you. Or it can be that you've reconnected with somebody and now there's a separation. Somebody can even be getting divorced here, divorced from their um, partner. Um, or you could be getting a divorce, but I don't feel like it's you getting a divorce. I feel like it's more so maybe somebody's... Actually, no. Some of you can be getting a divorce. Okay. Actually, no. Um, yes. So some of you can be getting a divorce. Um, there can be some kind of paperwork, some kind of legal matter, some kind of contracts. I'm feeling like contracts are going to be very significant for some of you. So this can be like a living situation. I'm hearing like um, um, a lease or a rental agreement or um, house, you know, um, having the same property um, or something like that. Okay. Or, or if not that, if it's not something to do with um, finances, which for some of you, I feel like there's a financial tie here. If this is not speaking of finances and this is speaking of just um, a separation or a divorce, a contract, some kind of legal proceedings, um, I do feel like legal papers, legal papers and proceedings, legal contracts and stuff are going to be of significance for you during this first part of the year. So just read the fine print. I'm hearing, you know, read the fine print, make sure you know what you're signing, um, get a second opinion if you need to, you know, get your own lawyer if you need to, legal docs by me. You know, just get, just make sure that you are um, being supported uh, when it comes to this. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing for those of you who that um, is a message for. Um, so I do see that coming up with some kind of game plan. Okay, it's going to be very positive. Um, going to be very, uh, very useful for you. Okay. Um, so when it comes to what's going on here, I do see that. Um, you know, this may be a situation that um, you may get a lot of, I feel like all of a sudden, like, I feel like something's going to dawn on you all of a sudden, like all of a sudden you're going to see things in a different way. And this is just going to give you a whole lot of clarity, a whole lot of like, um, you know, you're going to see things in a new way um, and a whole lot of wisdom, clarity. And I feel like this is going to happen very, very quickly. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I like people say when they're in near death situations or whatever, or they feel like they are, their life flashes before their eyes. I feel like things are going to happen kind of that quickly for you. You know, you're going to, you're going to, um, kind of see something or something's going to be brought to your mind, brought to your attention. That's going to really cause you to reevaluate and you're going to get that wisdom, that insight, and it's going to come very, very quickly. 
Now, I also feel like um, whoever it is that you, uh, you know, you're involved with, I don't feel like, um, you know, it's like whenever you're watching this right now, I don't feel like you're leaving this person. I feel like you're still like connected with this person right now. Um, you may be wanting to have a lot of communication, not a lot of communication, but maybe talk about some things with this person, have some healthy dialogue with this person. Um, but I do feel like you're still in communication and contact with this person um, who we're talking about. So I do see here that um, it looks like um, it looks like Virgos. There's going to be some kind of ending. I, okay, I have the grave, the dog, in the garden. Okay, the grave, the dog, in the garden. So I feel like there is going to be um, coming up for you during the first part of the year some kind of ending. There's going to be an ending. All right, ending to a connection, a soulmate connection. And this is likely a connection where, um, you know, this is a connection that could have been an open relationship with a friend. Maybe you had a friend with benefits, a friend with benefits, um, an open relationship with a friend, somebody who you were just hooking up with. Um, this can be a friend who you were dating, but maybe you're dating other people. Um, I just feel like this is somebody that is more of a friend than a lover or can be a friend and a lover, but is more of a friend first. And I feel like there's going to be an ending when it comes to this connection, all right? There's going to be some kind of ending when it comes to this, all right? Some kind of moving forward when it comes to this friend, when it comes to this person. Um, it looks like uh, for some of you, you know, there could have been some kind of loyalty and a connection, but that loyalty is ending. Somebody is deciding to go out and have their cake and eat it too. They're deciding to explore their options. They're deciding to meet new people, to socialize, to, um, you know, go out there and have fun. I do feel like there are going to be a lot of options. I feel like, um, you know, you're going to have a lot of options when it comes to dating or a lot of options can be presented to you. All right. And I do feel like when it comes to this situation, there is going to be a little bit of uncertainty, um, some doubts. Maybe you're not going to feel totally confident in this. Um, maybe you feel like you're not able to see things clearly. I do see that there are going to be some passing doubts, some passing difficulties when it comes to this situation. All right. Um, I do see some passing doubts and difficulties. So there is going to be a little confusion. There's going to be some mental fogginess. You may not be able to see things clearly or think 100 percent clearly during the um, initial phase of this, but things are going to be clearing up. So again, I see some kind of ending with a friendship or ending with a soulmate, um, you know, where there are a lot of people involved with you and this soulmate. There are a lot of people involved, um, not just you and this person, but other parties involved. And I see some kind of ending going on here with this person, an ending of loyalty, an ending of this friend and benefits. There's just some kind of um, some kind of ending here. And I'm feeling like for some of you, this uh, may have came a little quickly, more, or this may come quickly, quickly, more quickly than you were expecting. Um, or again, you were just able to really grasp like the reason why this needs to end or needed to end, or you're just able to develop a lot of wisdom and maturity and, and insight and awareness about the situation that was allowing, that allows you to make some kind of fast action. Now, I do feel like there are some big changes that are going to come up here. For some of you, this situation has to do with finances um, and career, but I'm not feeling that very strongly. Um, but it does look like you do have the ability to push through. You have the ability to get through this situation. So again, I'm seeing here some um, doubts, some worries, some difficulties here, um, because it looks like there's something that you're wanting from this person, from this situation, from this connection that you weren't able to get or that you're not able to get. There's something that you want. You're not able to get that. And that's why it's causing this indecision. Or that's why it's causing these doubts. Uh, that's why it's causing these, um, these difficulties. So there's something also, again, going on with communication. I'm seeing communication here very, very strongly in this. I mean, even if, okay, so it's either communication again, or if it's, or it's, or it is a written document. And for most of you, I'm actually feeling like more so than usually when I see the letter, usually when I see the letter, um, the letter card, I see here like communication or, um, you know, written messages, but I am feeling like for many of you, this does have to do with some kind of legal contract, legal matters, some kind of contract, some kind of written word, you know, binding written communication that is going to be of significance here. Um, but I'm seeing here that there was some kind of stall. Like, for example, say you're wanting to divorce somebody, wanting to separate from somebody and you haven't done that. 
Um, it looks like this year, you know, where things were stalled before, all of a sudden they're going to move forward and you're going to be able to have that legal outcome that you want or be able to handle that contract in the way that you wanted to or handle that legal issue in the way that you wanted to. So when it comes to some kind of written communication, document, contact, or even making contact, okay? For some of you, this can have to do with making contact, somebody contacting you. Because again, there has been some kind of separation or, you know, there's there's been some kind of, um, you know, you go in different directions. And then all of a sudden, we have this communication coming in um, very, very quickly after things have stalled. Things were stalled for a while. Things were not moving forward. All of a sudden, here they are. All right, so that can have to do with, again, some kind of legal issue or that can have to do with somebody coming back into your life and reaching out to you through some type of written communication. Now, I also see here that you will be taking some time out to, to introspect. You will be taking some time out to reflect. You will have to take a break. And I believe that we actually got the same. I, I Oh, no, we didn't get the same, but we got a very similar combination for the um, Earth Sign Collective reading. So if you didn't check out the Earth Sign Collective reading, be sure to go and check that out, too because we have some um, parallel messages coming up. And um, it looks like, you know, there is gonna be some time where you are going to be, um, and, for, and I'm just hearing the summer, so for some of you, this can actually be during the summertime, which is interesting because this is what we got in the, um, the earth sign reading, right? This is actually a very close message to what we got in the earth sign reading. So I do feel like this is going to be going on around the summer months. All right, there can be you taking a time out to reflect, um, you know, to kind of get a grasp on things, to understand things in a better way, because you may be feeling a little down. There may be some more vibrations causing you to take a break. And the great thing is following this, you are actually going to be moving forward. So for some of you, you're going to be moving away. You're going to be moving out. You're going to be moving forward. There's going to be some kind of travel. All right. For many of you, I'm seeing, um, and this could be on the other side of the summer, but whenever this comes about for you during you know, this year. So this is going to be kind of the first part of the year, I guess, up until maybe like September or, or October, even though this reading is for the first part of the year. I see here uh, definitely some relocation, definitely some movement, definitely some moving, definitely some travel, going to another location, moving out, moving away, moving somewhere else. Um, I don't feel like it's a moving in. I feel like it's a moving away. All right. You're going to be transition. It's going to be transition. You're going to be relocating. You're going to be moving forward. Now it does look like there are also going to be some, um, you know, you have some fears around your love life, but you're going to realize that those fears aren't really necessary as you continue to move forward because you're going to be moving forward patiently despite these fears and you're going to continue progressing. Um, with how you approach the situation, you're going to continue progressing in your love life, regardless of the fears that you have. So Virgos, um, you're going to be realizing that the fears that you have aren't, you know, really needed, that you don't really need to hold on to these fears, that it's okay to release them, whatever fears that you're having, when these fears come up, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it looks like you're going to be leaving behind the past. You're going to be leaving behind the fears. You're going to be leaving behind the worries. You're going to be leaving behind um, you know, whatever these challenges are, you're going to be leaving these things behind, um, the doubts, the difficulties, and that's going to bring about new faith, renewed faith in your love life. All right. You're going to be gaining some special, um, some, some skills, some special knowledge. You're going to be learning, growing, evolving, you know, um, moving forward, better, stronger, faster, and more, um, prepared for love more in alignment with what it is that you seek as you continue moving forward, as you continue moving forward, right? Um, as you continue this forward movement, because there is going to be success, it just needs to be a, a, a perseverance that takes place too. So it's like on the other side of this, some of you, it's going to be hard for you to move forward, not move forward past this, but you're going to feel stuck. But let me just say, it's very, very important for you to continue to move forward because as you do, there's going to be some very good fortune coming up for you. So you're going to have to take the time again to introspect, to, to take a break, to learn, to, to reflect on these things. You're going to have to go into hermit mode, right? Go into hermit mode. Um, where you need to look at the situation, kind of come up with your own realizations, your own understandings, your own knowingness, your own awareness um, of what it is that you've experienced in the recent past or with the situation or during the first part of the year. So you're going to be taking time to um, reflect, to reflect on where you have limited yourself, 
on the limitations in your love life, um, the limitations that have been placed upon you, and mainly I'm feeling the limitations you place upon yourself. And by recognizing recognizing these things, it's going to bring about good fortune to you, uh, a sense of achievement where you're going to be able to make positive transactions, uh, positive transitions, positive transitions forward. I see a lot of transitions forward, a lot of movement forward in your love life, so much movement forward past the situation. So there's going to be a lot of achievement, good forward, good uh, forward movement, good fortune as you move forward and you're actually going to have a better intuitive understanding as to um any lost loves whether this be a recent lost love or former lost love whatever lost love is going to be um, weighing on your mind um the most during that time or just on your mind the most during that time um and i feel like this is coming out of a relationship that was very important for you a very dominating relationship in your life or somebody was very dominating or you know, just a very significant relation. Oh, crap. Check this out. Okay. I'm, okay. So I'm pulling your guidance cards, right? Pull your guidance cards. Check this out. Progress, not perfection. Didn't we not just say that? Did we not just talk about progress? Right? Progress, right? So um, Virgos, this is a time to progress. This is a, the first part of the year is a time to progress. You're not seeking for perfection. So I don't feel like everything that it, that you ever wanted and needed and desired ever in life is going to all of a sudden land it to your lap, fall into your lap at this time. Now it can. I don't want to say that it's not. It can, you know, and I hope it does. But uh, for many of you, it looks like just, this looks like a time of pro progress, a time of progress because um, okay, we got this just coming out. This is a part of your spiritual path. So let's see. Let's go back to this progress, not perfection card. This says that don't compromise. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't compare yourself and maybe not compromise either. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. How far you have come and all that you have learned. Again, you're gaining so much clarity going into this situation. Going into this situation, you already know how much you've learned because you already know that you've learned so much because you have this totally different view on love relationships, on your love life, on your situation. You've had the, the lessons. You've learned the lessons. You've got the maturity. You know, you gain the wisdom, so you are already looking at things in a new way. So remember, as I said, this is not a time where things are just going to, excuse me, cards falling, um, like just fall into place all of a sudden. This is a time of progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. And this is a part of your spiritual path. What is happening now is a part of your spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary changes. So you're going to figure out, you know, what really matters to you or the things that are, um, you know, uh, important to you or your true beliefs. Again, you're going to be able to um, identify these things during that time of introspection, um, during that time of going within to think, to reflect. Um, and you're going to see how this situation is a part of your spiritual path. And this time is also bring about life, life changing epiphanies or experiences again. So this is a really good time to sit and reflect and look at things in a different way, but I'm feeling as though something's going to prompt that. I'm not, I'm feeling, uh, not really like um we're sitting here having this conversation right now and because you're watching this all of a sudden you're like you know what let me go ahead and reflect and think about this no i feel like something is going to prompt this something is going to lead to this situation happening and whatever this is it's probably going to come through very quickly um whatever this situation is that's going to lead to this um this reflection is going to come across very, very quickly. So again, it's going to be very important for you to take that time for self-care, to reflect, to learn, all right? To learn, to reflect, to to to, um, to listen to yourself and what, you know, your higher self is saying. I do feel like you're going to have to make some kind of very important decision. Um, and this may even have to do with financial matters. Financial matters can also be um, significant for you as well um, when it comes to this connection during the first part of the year. So I'm going to pull one more card here. Uh, for your final message, Virgos, and then this will wrap up your reading, and then we'll go into uh, Capricorns. All right, Virgos, your final message. Okay. So this is a good time for you to um, make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. Get in touch with a group of like-minded people with those who um, have similar interests, with those who like similar things, of course, who have similar interests, with those who are like-minded, this is a good time. And I'm hearing for support, 
May, you know, mostly for support, um, so you can have others around you, um, and also those around you may be able to provide you with insight about the situation, about your situation that you're not able to see. And then for others of you can meet somebody, um, a new romantic, uh, interest or new romantic interest can surface as a result of this socializing with, um, with, um, like-minded people and with your community, all right? So get out there and socialize and know that everything is happening for a reason now. This is your spiritual path. This is all a part of your spiritual path. Make sure to go ahead and take care of yourself. Be patient. This is about uh, progress, not perfection, okay? Um, but you do have the strength to go ahead and get through this and you do have the strength to push through this situation and you do have the strength to go off into this new uh, direction here, okay? And going off in this new direction is going to be very positive for you, being very positive transition and a lot of achievement for you as well as good fortune. These are the messages that I have for you. Virgos, I love you guys. Thumbs up and like this reading, all right? The messages resonate if they hit home, okay? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. If you're new, subscribe if you are returning. Um, again, I have some awesome stuff that I'm really excited to bring to you guys right now on the other side of these videos. So go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I look so forward to seeing you guys here soon. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can go ahead and check out my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. A link is in the description box below. All right. Send you guys love and light. Next, we are going to go into lovely Cappies. All right. Love you, Virgos. All right. Bye. So, Cappies, last but not least, let's go ahead and go into your messages for the first part of 2021. And, of course, I would like to say very happy birthday. Um, this is Capricorn season right now, so I hope you guys have a very wonderful birthday season. And I hope that all the amazing blessings that come to you during your season last throughout the entire year. All right. So, let's go ahead and go into your messages here. Okay. I see some really good things coming up. So we'll talk about that in a second. Let me see your other spreads here. Okay. So cappies. All right. So what I can see here. Okay. Before we get into like the really good stuff that I see coming up. Let's start off here. So what I can see here, Capricorn, is that you have been, um, it looks like you are trying to heal from a heartbreak or you have been working on healing from a heartbreak. You're in a process where your heart is healing from something, right? Your heart is healing from something. Your heart is healing from someone, a situation, okay? So you're healing from heartbreak. Um, you can also be freeing yourself from toxic relationships. So you could have recently freed yourself or you are focusing on Freeing yourself, there's some kind of freedom from a toxic relationship or there's freedom from an addiction, a toxic relationship, an addictive relationship, some kind of addiction. You are working on healing yourself. So this can be an addiction to a person, a person, place or a thing, a substance. Um, but again, I do see this very, very healing issue um, or this, this healing energy rather coming forth for you. Now, I see here that... Um, on your mind, you do have some trust issues going on when it comes to your love life. So this can be speaking of, um, let me see here. I feel like for most of you, this is for, um, now, of course, yes, this can be for some of you who are in a relationship already for this. I mean, this is looking like this for all of you who are single, who are coupled, but, um, I feel like this is especially good news for those of you who are looking to meet somebody new, um, who are single and looking, I feel like this is especially good news for you, um, but it looks like there's been some healing from heartbreaks. Right now, you may have some trust issues, all right? But just um, be mindful of are your trust issues that you have, um, are they justified or are they unjustified? For example, some of you may have fears towards dating, um, maybe fears towards somebody new or fears about somebody new coming in because of trust issues from the past, right? Maybe somebody did you wrong in the past and now you are having trust issues when it comes to people moving forward, which is natural. That's a lot of the time what we do, right? We get hurt, we get burned, we close our, our heart space off and we are more cautious, we put up our walls. Um, but, you know, as you move forward through this year and as, you know, people um, come into your life, just be mindful of are these trust issues justified or unjustified? Now, what I'm hearing is if somebody does come into your life, Capricorn, somebody new, those of you who are looking for somebody new to come in, if somebody, know, if somebody new comes in and is very, very similar or makes you feel the same way or reminds you just of somebody from the past who did things didn't work out with, 
um, be mindful of that because you want somebody new to come in, somebody who feels differently from that old person. So if you feel like you are doing, you know, um, X 2.0, you know, if you are just repeating the same pattern, um, from something from before, you know, just be mindful of that. That may not be the best situation for you to, um, involve yourself in. You may want to look for a whole different energy. Okay. So that's a specific message for a group of you. Um, anyway, uh, it's going to be really important to, um, figure out, you know, am I right to feel these trust issues about this person? Now for others of you, I'm hearing that you're going to be meeting new people and you may be right to, um, you know, not give it all away or give it all up. Or, you know, when I say give it up or it all away, I mean like yourself, your heart, your energy, give that, give all those precious resources to this person right away. You know, you may want to keep yourself, um, held uh back a little bit you know protect yourself a little bit so just see how that situation unfolds for you as an individual um uh excuse me just see how this uh, unfolds for you as an individual this is for the collective so um you know trust is very important for you to feel safe and secure in your relationships and i feel like there have been some trust issues um, going on um, in your love life, regardless of if you are um, involved or not. Um, and you want to really get over those trust issues. You want to heal those. You want to mitigate those. You want to move forward from those. You want to untangle those trust issues, maybe even see where they are stemming from so you cannot um, bring those trust issues, bring the, that baggage from past relationships into your current or future relationships. And I may see that some of you may need to switch up your type. Maybe you were, you, maybe you're usually in, uh, involved in one type of person or somebody with certain traits. If you're looking for somebody new, it may be very useful for you to um, take a chance to switch up your type to go with something that feels more uncomfortable because that's something that's going to be new for you. So um, it looks like going into, um, you know, this year or whenever you're watching this, going into this time. Um, it's interesting because I see a lot here going on with communication. So this can be like you, um, different things going on. This can be you having like some friendships. I do see some important friendships here. Okay. You can have a friend and a lover, a friend with benefits, something like that. Um, I do feel as though there's been a lot of communication. So you may have been talking to a lot of people or you may be talking to a lot of people, um, getting to know a lot of people, conversing with a lot of people, maybe even meeting people, going on dates, um, just communication. I just see here a lot of communication. And if you are already with somebody, then this just looks like communication going on within your connection. This looks like addressing concerns in your relationship without attacking your partner um, or addressing like the problems without attacking one another or just communication being the issue or healthy and loving dialogue needing to take place. So that's what's going on if you're in a relationship. But uh, if not, I just see you like communicating with a lot of people. You could be communicating with people online. You know, there's just a lot of conversation that's going on here. And this conversation that's going on is helping you move forward past obstacles. It's helping you transcend obstacles, helping you transcend difficulties in your love life or in your relationship, regardless of if you're single or connected. Um, you are able to expand. You are absolutely going into new, new phases in your love life. All right, you're preparing for a beautiful union, whether this be a union between you and somebody you know now or you and somebody who you are working towards um, connecting with and not even working towards connecting with, but in the process of aligning with who your spiritual support team is in the process of bringing you. You are preparing for a union. You are aligning with a union. So I see things really changing, things really transcending, challenges really transcending. They're being learning. All right, growth and expansion. And on the other side of this, I do see that um, you are going to be going to places that you find really interesting. I feel like for those of you who are looking for someone new, this is really, really great energy for you because um, you're going to be talking to new people. You're going to be getting to know a lot of new people. I see a lot of communication. I see a lot of new connections. All right. I see, um, you know, I'm feeling like you're going to have your pick of the litter. That's what I'm hearing. Pick of the litter. I'm hearing have my cake and eat it too. Pick of the litter. Multiple options. You're not people to choose from because you're going to be getting out there. You're going to be mingling. You're going to be meeting new people. Yeah, you're a little protected in your heart, but you're still going to be getting out there, meeting new people, having new people come into your world. You are preparing for a new relationship. You're preparing for union. You're getting into that place. You're learning. You're expanding. You're growing. You're going into a new phase where you are able to let people in. 
you know, or allow people to come in, you know, or people may, I'm also hearing people can be feeling very, very drawn to you, Capricorn as well. Um, so you have been in this place of healing. Maybe you've been in this place of healing for a year or longer. All right. Maybe you've been single for a year or longer for some of you, um, for those of you who have been single, but it looks like you are bringing about luck. I'm also seeing hookups coming to you. I'm seeing hookups, I'm seeing flings, I'm seeing friends with benefits, all these kinds of lighthearted, playful, sexual energies coming up. And I see that this is going to be very, very positive for you. Very, very positive for you. I do see um, you You can be um, involved with someone who's a different culture, race, or ethnicity than yourself. You can be going to travel with others. You can be involved with others at a distance. So you can be meeting people online. Um, your love can be coming in, all right? Love and romance can be coming in for you as well. So when it comes to um, what's going on with the Lenormand here, I see that, um, again, I have some really, really, really positive energy. I think this is probably the most positive. It's funny because out of all the um, 12 signs, this is the last sign that I'm doing. And this is the most positive spread here with the Lenormand that I've gotten so far. I have the dog, the clover, and the locket. This is actually really, really excellent. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. It looks like here... Um, you know, you have a lot of luck. Look at that. I have a clover twice. So you have a lot of luck. You have a lot of um, positivity on your side. Again, there could, if, if, if this is what you're interested in, you know, there's, um, there are a lot of flings, hookups that are available to you. Fun flings, fun hookups, you know, fun, um, romantic rendezvous coming up for you. Um, I do see here a lot of luck, new opportunities in love. Oh, I see some major new opportunities in love coming up for you. I see major rewards in love coming up for you. I just see a lot of um, really positive things. I see a lot of hope coming up for you. Again, new opportunities, rewards, luck, um, happiness. Now, the thing is, make sure when you come across, if you, when you come across somebody this person could be a friend. This could be for some of you, somebody who um, is somebody with um, brown hair and brown eyes. All right. Somebody with brown hair and brown eyes. Um, but when, when this person comes across to you, no matter who they are, what they look like, um, this is likely going to be a friend, a friend and a lover, somebody who you have an affinity with, a friendship with, or a soulmate. Um, when this person comes into your life, um, Make sure that you jump on the opportunity because we do have the clover here and the clover is fleeting luck. This is an opportunity that you have to jump on. Don't sit and, you know, it's like, for example, if a friend were to come to you, right? If a friend um, were to come to you, somebody that you've been interested in or however this resonates, you know, for example. Okay, say a karmic person, a karmic bond comes in for you, right? Okay, because this, this could happen for some of you. Say a karmic bond comes in for you or, or you know, someone comes up for you. And say they are pursuing you, they're really interested in you, or, um, you know, they're showing you attention or affection, or they're just expressing, you know, their 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 feelings towards you. Um, you don't want to sit and, like, wait and be like, let me think about this for the next three weeks. Like, no, you want to act on it. You want to act on it because the, um, the clover stands for fleeting luck, okay? So this can escape you if you don't act on it quick enough. So we have the clover here twice. So we have, you know, a small bit of luck coming up. All right. This may not be something that's completely life changing, but it'll be something that's significant for this year. And can also, um, the energy is going to flow into upcoming years. So we have this, um, we have a, either soulmates coming in for you. If you're a single, if you're looking, we have a soulmate coming in for you. We have a friend mate and a lover that's coming in for you. Uh, or a friend, did I just say a friend? A soulmate and a lover, a friend. Um, we have have somebody here who's very loyal coming in for you, a companion, um, somebody who you can have a, a close connection with that's coming in for you. Um, and it's going to be a very nice, um, a really good romantic connection too, where there's positive emotions, where there's happiness, where there's bliss, you know, or when you're cherishing you know, one another, where there's joy, where there's tenderness, um, where there are all these positive emotions going on between you two, a lot of happiness, a lot of enjoyment between you and this person. Um, this person coming in. So look out for this friend and lover, this soulmate, this soulmate is coming in. You got a soulmate who's here for you, right? If you know this person already or not. Now, it also looks like um, Capricorns. It seems like um, in the beginning of the year, let's see here. I do feel as though there, there can be, okay, for those of you who are like, open to somebody coming in. I do feel like there's going to be some kind of like 
karmic, spiritual, faded connection that comes in for you. Some kind of somebody coming in to like date you or woo you or seduce you, um, not in a manipulative way, but just like, you know, to, to, to sweep you off your feet or something like that. All right. I do see something faded here unfolding for you. Um, I do also feel like this is a good time to, you know, have patience when it comes to your love life and things unfolding. You may be, you, your intuition is going to be very heightened when it comes to this situation. All right. And if somebody comes into your, um, your world, you know, you may have an intuitive understanding of this person's role in your life or what they are coming into your life to accomplish or to do. I see a lot of karma. I see a lot of karma coming through, all right? Karmic lessons here coming through through this person, through this experience. I also see a need to... Um, I guess just be strong in your emotions. Have faith, you know, when it comes to your, when it comes to your emotion, your, your emotions, your emotional state, your intuitive state as well. Now, you may feel like you don't have many choices or many options when it comes to love and romance in the first part of the year, all right? Or when it comes to a certain person, you may feel like you don't have many choices or many options. But the interesting thing is, I do see here a woman experiencing a lot of slow and steady growth. So this can be you. If you're a female watching this, you can experience a lot of slow, steady growth when it comes to your love life, a lot of growth. You're branching out. You're evolving. You're moving forward, all right? You're growing, um, or if you're a male and you, um, are heterosexual, you can be experiencing this when it comes to a female, experiencing a lot of growth because of her growth on the other side of her, or, um, again, things are moving forward very slowly, but I do feel as though, um, within the next two weeks after watching this, so this could be in the two weeks before, two weeks after, whenever you're watching this, I do see here that there's going to be some kind of, um, e there could either be some kind of difficult, like, um, conversation, um, that comes up, kind of argument, difficult conversation, or during the next, um, two weeks or, you know, two weeks prior or before or after, you can really be understanding, um, what kind of patterns or routines that you've been, uh, practicing in your love life that aren't working for you. And by acknowledging that and understanding that, for example, say you have a problem with jealousy, just as an example, say you have a problem with jealousy. Well, within the next two weeks, things can be coming to your mind and be kind of, um, showing you, oh, this is how this jealousy has been, or these trust issues. Remember, we had things about trust issues. So if you have trust issues, say, this is how my, um, lack of trust and my inability to trust because of things that have happened in the past are negatively affecting my relationship. That's what I feel like is coming up. You're going to be able to take a good look at yourself, your love life. Oh, this is how this has been affecting my love life, my situation, you know, me moving forward. Let me reconsider. All right. Let me take a look at these issues because I really don't want this negative pattern to keep replaying. I don't want this, this routine. I don't want this repetitive, you know, thing to keep happening in my life because it's not working for me. I want to untangle these issues. I want to move forward from these issues. Maybe I need to communicate in a better way. Maybe I can improve on my communication. Maybe my communication needs improvement. All right. Maybe I need to have more faith in my love life. I need to have more faith. I'm seeing there's something that has to do with faith here. I need to have more faith. I need to tap into that faith. All right. And this is especially going to help you with your emotions. Or you may intuitively feel like you can't connect with this faith. And if you feel that intuitively, then go ahead and do so. All right. But it looks like within the next two weeks, there's going to be something coming up about, again, a repetitive action, repetitive a pattern, something that's been going on in your love life. And I feel like, again, it has to uh, deal greatly with this communication, with communication being an issue or with trust, with trust issues being um, or with trust being an issue. All right. Um, okay. So let's see what else is going on here. So I do see here good times, um, good memories being formed with someone that you've already been involved with. I see some good memories, um, some joyful times, which is great. I also see here, they're going to be, uh, there's going to be some sudden progress. Some progress is going to happen very quickly. Some change is going to happen very quickly. And this is going to have to do with ways that you feel limited because again, you feel limited, um, in your love life in some way. You feel limited when it comes to 
romance. You feel limited when it comes to passion. Maybe there's not enough passion. Maybe there's not enough romance in your love life. Maybe you want more. Something like that is going on. And um, But you feel like you don't have any options and you don't feel like you have any choices. And suddenly, all of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere, there's going to be some kind of progress, some kind of change that's coming to that feel of lack, that feel of limitation. Is going to be some kind of change for the better for that. And that's going to bring about a major ending of that limitation, a major ending of that lack, a major ending of that, um, you know, inability to have choices or have things to choose from or being stuck or whatever that is. There's going to be an ending to that, which is excellent because remember that growth is coming, that growth is coming and maybe it doesn't happen overnight, but there is going to be a transition. All right. And there is going to be a lot of positive energy coming up for you. So that's really, really great. It's going to be a lot of positive energy coming up. So there's going to be a, a, a new beginning. There's going to be a major ending and there's going to be a new beginning when it comes to your lasting love and happiness. So you're going to feel renewed. All right. There's going to be a, a um, heightened faith. All right. You're going to feel more excited. All right. You're going to feel more connected with lasting love and happiness. And that's going to be something that's going to be um, known to your subconscious mind, known to your mind. And I do have here something going on with a soulmate. And there's a significant energy around a commitment or marriage. All right. So you can have renewed faith when it comes to committing to this person or maybe becoming married to this person or going into a deeper connection, deeper commitment with this person. Okay, I do see this being a very significant love relationship for you or a significant love relationship coming up for you, all right? I see a very significant love co uh, connection coming up that is very, very karmic in nature. Again, we talked about um, this being a soulmate connection, this being a karmic connection coming up for you. This is a past life connection likely coming up for you. And um, the interesting thing is, to me, it's looking like, let's see, you're going to be reassessing either... If you're dealing with somebody in particular, you're going to be reassessing moving on from that person if you were wanting to move on, or you're going to be reassessing moving on in your love life. There's just going to be some reassessment when it comes to moving on in your love life, when it comes to moving on regarding a significant love relationship, when it comes to moving on, when it comes to a karmic bond, or when it comes to a commitment, or when it comes to a marriage. There's some kind of looking at the situation again, going back and reassessing when it comes to moving on or when it comes to leaving this situation. And I do feel as though there's going to be, again, things may not happen right away. I do see the need for patience. I keep seeing the need for patience. Patience is going to be needed. Patience is going to be needed, all right? And if you watch the um, the first reading, the reading for the uh, Earth Sign Collective, for all of you, there was this uh, trajectory of time from the spring to the winter to the fall. And as we saw in that reading, when the fall came around, things were really going to pick up in a beautiful way. So you may have to wait a little bit, have that patience, you know, allow things to progress. This is about progression, not perfection, right? Right? You want to prog you want to progress. Progression, not perfection. And as you continue to progress, you're going to bring balance into your relationships. You're going to bring balance into your love life. All right? And I do see here that there's going to be a lot of success um, coming to you as a result of some enlightenment. All right? There's going to be some spiritual growth, some spiritual enlightenment. I see a lot of spiritual energy here. A lot of faith, faith, karma, patience, destiny, higher guidance, and protection. So there's going to be um, a lot of perseverance. You're going to persevere throughout the situation, right? And I keep thinking about my tattoo. God gives us what we can handle. I feel like this is going to be uh, something that you guys need to keep in mind. God gives us what we can handle, right? And um, you're going to be able to per persevere through this situation and you're going to have the success that you want. It's going to come on the other side of some um, spiritual growth and some enlightenment. All right. So it's not like things are just going to fall into your lap. I mean, they pretty much will with this dog, clover and locket combination here, but there will be some inner growth, some inner processes that need to take place for you to be in the best place to um, you know, to welcome this in. So go ahead and um, have that renewed faith. I see so much faith. I see you having so much faith that things are going to work out. You know, I see you having so much faith that things are going to work out. And that's great because, you know, it does look like um, issues, things are going to be untangled. Negative things are going to be untangled. Okay. And the healing that you have done is not going to be in vain and it's going to benefit you. And again, this dog, Clover, like it. 
combination is just really great. I mean, this is a lot of positivity, a lot of opportunities and love, meeting a soulmate, meeting a friend and a lover. You know, it's like, and look at this, look at this. Look at that, divine intervention, all right? You got divine interventions coming for you. So I love that. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Uh, Capricorn, right now, pause this video or after you are done watching this reading, you know, watch this reading. Um, we're going through the guidance, so we're almost finished. And then after this reading, take a moment to, um, to assert what your wish is, what it is that you want, what it is that you are asking for when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your relationship and put that out there to your higher power as God, spirit, universe, you know, your spiritual support team, your higher power, your, your, your guides, your ancestors, ask them for what it is that you want, because God is going to send you miracles to answer your sincere prayers, but you have to pray in sincerity, you know, with sincerity. Okay. This has to be something that you really, really want, right? Something that you want in earnest. This has to be something that you want in earnest. Ask for what you want in earnest, not something that you half ass want. Ask for something that you want in earnest. And you were going to see that manifest. And it's great because we also have our life-changing um, epiphanies or experiences. So it looks like this divine intervention, what's going to unfold here, can be a life-changing epiphany. You can have some life-changing epiphanies because of this experience, of this situation. Or again, a life-changing experience. This is a time of big and blessed change for you. And this makes sense because this is a five-year Capricorn. So we're going into a year of big and blessed change. So God is supporting you each step of the way. All right. God is supporting you each step of the way. And also, um, wow, this is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I'm shuffling and we have flipping over the spiritual path card. And then I also have the card of increased support. So I love um, what's coming out here for you. Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So you are moving forward on your soul's journey. You are going to be moving forward, making some light, you know, with these life-changing experiences. Again, what we talked about before, as I said, I felt like something significant was going to unfold and take place that's going to create this, you know, kind of like a catalyst that's going to um, cause this to happen. Um, but I see you that, again, you're on your spiritual path. This is going to bring you, this time is going to bring you life-changing experiences. Um, but know that you are supported. You have a lot of support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So just like we talked about, we have opportunities. Clover, 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 clover. Very positive. Opportunities are coming to you everywhere. You have a lot of very positive opportunities coming to you. Cappies, so you don't really have to be um, worried. You know, you have a lot of good things coming to you. Just make sure to um, allow that that not inner the inner knowledge, that unfolding of knowledge, wisdom, whatever that is, whatever this insight that needs to um, surface and bubble up. Just allow that to come to you. You know, don't fight it and see what happens as a result. Um, it does also look like a time for deep emotional healing as well, because your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So you are willing to heal from the past, all right? You're willing to heal from the past. Your heart is ready, willing, and able to heal from, heal from the past. And now it's time to devote time and energy towards new experiences, right? Towards therapeutic care, towards yourself, towards that growth. All right, let's see what's the last message. Can I have one more messages? Oh, one more messages. One more message for Cappies. Give me a good one. Give me some good. Tell me something good. Give me a good one for um, Cappies. First part 21. What the message is. Thank you so much. All right. So it looks like. Yes, there are going to be some heightened emotions during this time. You may feel a little emotional. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity are going to call for self-care and gentleness. So this is really a good time to reflect and take care of yourself. But know that, remember, you ask those you ask those, pr those prayers, right? Maybe you've paused this already and you've asked your, and you and you set your intentions or you made your prayers, you asked your higher power for what it is that you want, right? Either you've done this already, you pause this and you've done this, or right after this, you're going to be pausing this and you're going to be um, asking or praying for what it is that you want. And as you do that, guess what? Your prayers shall be answered. Ask for what it is that you want. Ask for what it is that you want. Ask for what it is that you want. Because your prayers shall be answered. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. You're praying, you're asking, all right? Your hope, your faith, 
is working for your benefit and all that great work is opening the door for divine solutions and support. All right, so enjoy that Capricorns, okay? Your prayers shall be answered. I'm sending you all so much love and so much light. Don't forget to thumbs up and like this reading. Also comment, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning. I have some really um, fun stuff that I'm going to be bringing to you guys next on the other side of these readings, which I'm really excited about. Um, so go ahead and subscribe and push that little notification bell down below so you can be notified as to when I'm uploading. I am sending you guys so much love and so much light. Thank you for hanging out with me. I wish you a wonderful 2021. And again, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, go ahead and check the description box below for a link to my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find me on Wizio and Instinct. I love you, Cappies, and I can't wait to see you here again soon. All right? Bye for now.